2024 and a lot has changed, but one thing that has stayed the same, short ribs are still my favorite thing to eat and cook. Last time I made this recipe, I showed you how to make it in the Instapot. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make it the old fashioned way in the oven. Meet me in the kitchen, let's make it happen. All right guys, first things first, in order to make this, you gotta find a good quality short rib. I'm using boneless today, but you use bone in. Typically I grab whatever's on sale. Boneless tend to cook a little bit faster too. The first step here is to make sure that you season it generously with kosher salt. Whatever salt you got or whatever you like is fine as well. I like to season with just salt, and there's a couple reasons for that. One, beef needs salt, most food does. But we're gonna season with salt, that way when we sear it at high temperature, it doesn't burn. A lot of things like black pepper and those herbs and whatnot that are in a lot of your favorite seasonings over high temperature are gonna burn up. We're looking to develop a nice sear, nice crust, but we don't want to burn up all the seasoning. We're gonna add that later and still infuse the flavor into the short ribs. So just a nice light layer of kosher salt on all sides of the short rib. I preferably like to do this overnight if I have the time, like a lot of my dinner parties and events, I'll come in and season the short ribs the night before we cook them and just hit them with a good generous pinch of salt on all sides and let them sit in the fridge covered for about 24 hours to really allow them to salt brine and the salt's gonna penetrate all the way through the meat leaving you with some very flavorful short ribs. Next up, we're gonna talk about mirepoix, which is a fancy French term for onions, celery, and carrots. We're also gonna add some garlic to the party, some fresh herbs and aromatics, and a little red wine to really beef up the flavor on these short ribs. But it all starts with the mirepoix, as do most you know, things that you braise in the French cuisine side of things. So we're gonna go ahead and prep our celery and carrots. We're not gonna make them too pretty because they're really just lending their flavor to the braising liquid. I like to cut the end pieces off. We are gonna go ahead and shave down the carrots, make sure they're nice and clean. We're using two onions today, one whole head of garlic. Just take your potato peeler and peel the carrots. You guys have done this a billion times, I'm sure, but you know, you could actually skip this step, but if you like to eat the carrots, it's probably a good idea to peel them. For this, guys, we're just gonna cut it into maybe an inch, inch and a half long pieces. Again, most of this is just for the the flavor that we're trying to build with the braising liquid. That's what's most important. That's where you get most of your flavor from on your short ribs. If you don't like cooking with wine, guys, you can leave out the red wine, just use beef broth, no big deal. The red wine does add some nice flavor, so in the event that you do decide to leave that out, maybe add a tablespoon of Dijon or something that's gonna add that nice bite. There's our celery and our carrots. For the onion, we're just gonna cut it into quarters. There you go. And then for the garlic, we're gonna leave it whole, but I'm gonna cut it about a third of the way down just to kind of expose it a little bit. And then we're gonna throw it right in there just like that. Now when you make your gravy, you push this through the mesh strainer, almost like a roasted garlic, aromatic flavor is gonna come through in your gravy. We'll get to that later, but that's why we're using the whole head. Next up, my friends, arguably the most important part of the process here, you wanna get your skillet nice and hot and we're gonna sear the short ribs. This is gonna do multiple things. We're gonna lock in the flavor, develop, uh, we're gonna lock in the flavor, develop crust, texture, and color. Who wants to eat a gray short rib? You want that nice, beautiful crust to develop. And the only way to do that is in your skillet over high heat. So we're gonna heat our skillet medium high, avocado oil, perfect for high, temperature cooking, it has a higher smoke point. We have our salted only short ribs going in. Press down firmly to make maximum surface area contact with that skillet, and then just let the heat do its thing. Now that, my friends, is exactly what you're looking for. All right guys, once the short ribs are seared to perfection, we're gonna go ahead and remove them. One quick little pro tip, when you're searing any protein, especially if you're using something that's not a non-stick skillet, if the protein sticks to the skillet, that means it's not ready to flip. Once it gets nice and golden brown like so, it'll release from the skillet nicely. So a lot of times people get impatient and they wanna play with the, the protein too much and try to flip it too early, but it'll, re it'll release once it's ready. The other thing I wanna call out is, as you can see here, our oil is still nice and clean. Everything is not burnt up at the bottom of the skillet, and it would be if you used a million different spices and seasonings at the searing stage 
you would be left behind with something that you would have to probably clean out before you moved on to the next step. Now we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of avocado oil. That's gonna drop the temperature that's in the skillet right now. That way our veggies don't scorch. I did also turn off the heat. We're gonna add our mirepoix and get that start. All right, so now at this point, we're gonna add in the celery, the onions, the carrots, kind of start the cooking process on those. Let them start to release some of their flavor. Turn the heat back on once you can see that the veggies aren't gonna scorch. Anything that scorches and burns is gonna leave a bitter taste and we don't want that in our braising liquid. It's already smelling amazing. In goes that full head of garlic. I like to go face down with that. And now we're gonna start adding some flavor. I'm going with my all purpose seasoning or just some salt and pepper. Little onion powder, garlic, whatever you like. Little garlic and herb flavor seasoning. We're gonna add in a tablespoon of low sodium better than bouillon beef base, just to beef up the beef flavor. Two or three big tablespoons of tomato paste. That's gonna add a nice concentrated tomato flavor and some good color, especially if you're not using that red wine. And then just give all of that a good mix and then we'll deglaze with our red wine. If you're not using red wine, just use the beef broth. Now we're gonna deglaze the skillet with a cup of dry red wine, something like a Cabernet, like this one right here. Make sure you taste as you go. I'll drink to that. Bring that up to a simmer or a rolling boil like you see right here and start to scrape the bottom of your skillet, getting up all that fond and deliciousness that we're developing from the protein, from the veggies. Scrape the sides. Again, we don't want anything to burn. Then we're just gonna cook down that red wine and then add in three cups of beef broth. Along with the beef broth, we're gonna add in a tablespoon of worst word in the world sauce just to add a little bit of umami effect. Then three cups of beef broth. Once we've got that in there, back go the short ribs. Want them up to their shoulders, so to speak. So not fully submerged, we're not boiling these, we're braising them. So you can kind of see what I mean by up to the shoulders, about uh, three quarters of the way. Then we'll add in our fresh herbs. Get that garlic in there. Any accumulated juices, no flavor left behind. And then some fresh rosemary. If you got some time, add that in there as well. I'm out of time, no pun intended. We got a little rosemary and a little fresh cracked black pepper. Or you can throw the peppercorns in there too. We're gonna bring this up to a simmer, cover with the lid into a 325 degree oven for about two and a half to three hours or until the short ribs are fork tender. All right guys, so for your short ribs, when you check for tenderness, you wanna use a probe or a fork, digital food thermometer. What you wanna see is that it goes in and out with very little resistance. You can lift it up and the short rib just releases like you just saw a second ago. The next pro tip is to put it in the oven and allow it to brown up and reduce. It'll concentrate in flavor a little bit and it'll darken in color and give it a little bit more texture. The short rib right now is about 90% of the way done. We're gonna pop it back in the oven uncovered for about 10 to 15 minutes. It's gonna be absolutely perfect over these mashed potatoes. All right, folks, so after you strain your braising liquid, it's also gonna become our gravy. So give it a little whisk. In goes our slurry, which is equal parts cornstarch and water. You gotta do that when it comes up to a boil. Whisk it in slowly. And then once it boils, you'll notice it start to thicken up. Once it reaches the consistency you're looking for, season the taste, you got yourself a gravy. All right, guys, we're gonna plate this beautiful short rib up on top of the bed of mashed potatoes, top it with that gravy and some chives. This is the part where I say, brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me, guys, looking good. The only thing left to do is dig in for the taste test, but before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, people, here we go. Look at that. Nice and that's what, when we say fork tender, people, this is what, I'm, this is what I mean. Look at that. Mm. A little mash, a little short rib, extra gravy. Here we go. Mm. That's why this continues to be my all time favorite food right there. 
Mm. Well, feeling around you. Make everything seem less cumbersome. See, that's a bike right there. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, about him. Part of the character. 